Okay, hey friends. This is segment four, unit one. No, it's the nitrogen cycle. So please write down the and here we go. <laughs> okay, sorry. Nitrogen, all life requires nitrogen to live and grow just like it required carbon. So where do you find nitrogen? DNA, RNA, and those proteins, some of those macromolecules that you learned in biology. Nitrogen is also found in the air. In fact, 80% of the nitrogen in this room and outside happens to be nitrogen gas N2. So pretty awesome since we need it. But it has it's, it's unusable. I call it, quote unquote, broken. Therefore, it needs to be fixed. And you'll hear that word fixed in a minute. But it's unusable. We breathe it in. We breathe it right back out. Okay? So it has to be changed into a more usable form. For organisms to use. Humans have altered the nitrogen cycle and you're going to need to know how. So um, nitrogen is actually in fertilizers. And we're going to talk about that in the, in the um, cycle. And with excess fertilizers, you have lots of plants and algae that can grow. So fertilizers that are overused, like in lawns, for example, or at golf courses, or even from crop areas that are not well monitored, that can run off and get into the surface waters. We can also have nitrogen from the fun stuff of animal farm feces, like cow farms or um, turkey farms or whatever, pig farms. Anyway, their, their waste material has nitrogen, and if that leaks, um, drains down into the surface water, then the water can go through what's called eutrophication. You have to know that word eutrophication. You should say it out loud, friend. Don't don't hesitate. Say it right now. Eutrophication. Anyway, that's higher nitrogen levels. Algae love it. They grow like crazy. They end up depleting the nitrogen and mass death occurs, which when things die, they consume a lot of the oxygen. Not they do, but the things that are decomposing them will consume all the oxygen, so the oxygen levels go way down which is then devastating to oxygen breathers like the fish and that kind of thing. So it really alters the chemistry and makes it not a friendly place for wildlife, eutrophication. All right, now here's the cycle. So on your sheet, whether you're given a template or not, you need to have all this on there. Wow, so just pause and write. So you got nitrogen cycle labeled at the top. Nitrogen is found in all forms of life. You wrote that before, you don't have to write it again. It's found in the proteins, amino acids, DNA, and RNA. Again, you've already written it. But it's also a component of fertilizers, and maybe you want to write that again, even though I did mention the eutrophication earlier. Um, I, this is a little tidbit that you're also going to want to put in there, too. Burning fossil fuels leads to smog. And later we're going to talk about smog, too. Smog contains nitrogen and what's called nitrous oxide, N2O, that should be a tiny two, not a full-blown two. <laughs> and this is also greenhouse gas, GHG, N2O is. So therefore, it is a it has negative press again. And then N2O can mix with water vapor and make nitric acid, so it's an acid rain component. So we have all these negative, right here's the negative, the downers, Debbie Downer right there, um, going on for humans, and it's also... This is how we impact the nitrogen cycle, again, not only with the fertilizers, but also with the smog and the um, GHG release and the acid rain. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start in the atmosphere just like we did with the carbon cycle. So we have atmospheric N2, so two little nitrogen atoms bound together in gas form. It's pretty strong. The only thing that can rip it apart is bacteria and lightning, friends. It is not usable. We breathe it in, we breathe it right back out. So it needs to be what? If it's broken, it needs what? Fixed. That's actually a scientific term. Nitrogen fixing. And the bacteria in the soil can do it. Thank goodness there's bacteria because we need the nitrogen in our DNA and our RNA and our proteins and our amino acids. So thank goodness for that bacteria. We love them. If we could give them hugs, we would. And lightning, pretty powerful it can actually split the bonds and reform them and make other substances. So lightning can actually bring it out of the atmosphere too. Algae, there is 
there are certain types of algae in ponds that can do this. Not algae can, all algae can, but some, there's a, there's a few. So once it's fixed, by the way, the dotted boxes mean that the, this is a process. The solid boxes represent um, sinks, storage areas for the nitrogen, just like the carbon, right? So processes are dotted, solid lines are storage areas. So after, so N2 goes into the bacteria, it is fixed by the bacteria, and out comes the waste product of ammonia. This is not like pneumonia, the, the pathogen, friends. This is like ammonia, which in concentrated form is actually cleaner. So you've probably heard of ammonia. So this is a natural form of ammonia. These are the scientific um, the formulas, and this would be found just in the soil, which is the geosphere. So we have bacteria taking an N2 and spitting out these. So notice how they popped off an N and added some hydrogens into that. Okay, the ammonia is still pretty potent. We're not going to go and eat it as humans. No, nope, we're not going to do that. So it needs to be further processed. So notice the dotted square. We have nitrification. So bacteria, different forms, different species of bacteria in the soil. There's thousands of bacteria. I probably could venture to say millions. I'm not sure if I can or not to be technical. But anyway, it's in the soil. It takes in that ammonia, takes it through their cell membrane, and then goes through a process called nitrification. It spits out a waste product called nitrates and nitrites. You do not have to memorize these formulas, but it's not a bad idea to write them down just so you can see how that nitrogen is still there, but it's now recombined spit off the hydrogens and now we have oxygen. So this bacteria in the soil has to be close to the surface so it has access to the oxygen. It requires oxygen. So that out pops the waste material. This is just a fluid substance that goes down into the soil. Okay, and the nitrite and the nitrates are actually fertilizers, friends. This is what's in miracle Grow. So who likes fertilizers? Come on, go ahead and answer. Go ahead. Plants do and algae do, so they take it in and they grow like crazy. Crazy people. They take it in, they put it into their proteins, amino acids, DNA, and RNA, just like you and I, friends. But we aren't going to go eat dirt. No, we are not. So we <laughs> eat the plants and algae, and that's how we get it. And then we eat, not each other, don't be gross. We eat like cows, okay, beef. We eat pork. We eat fish, we eat other things that are eating these plants also, and that's how we get the nitrogen. We pack it in our proteins and amino acids and RNA and DNA. So consumers, there you are. There we are. And then we produce waste, poo-poo, pee-pee, and things die, okay? And when they die, they fall to the ground, and they, what, what do they do, friends? What do they do? Probably think and decompose, and you're thinking right. But decomposition has another word in the in the nitrogen cycle instead of called decomposition we call it ammonification say it out loud friends ammonification the bacteria in the soil and the de other decomposers like fungi break down those tissues they are going through the process of ammonification look how conveniently this is located next to ammonia so you're going to fire that arrow right over here we have ammonia as the product so you have these little teeny bacterias different kind of species than these here and these here and they take in the death and the waste and they pop out ammonia that's their waste product and then it can proceed again ground through the the cycle but you guys if we start in the atmosphere and we're swinging around and we're looping and if this is it then we need to we would run out of atmospheric nitrogen won't we so something has to happen to put it back into the atmosphere so we're going to go ahead and Start right here. There's a little line right there. I need you to connect these fertilizers to another process. I'm going to just bring it to an outer circle. Something's got to put it back into the atmosphere. And that something is another process guessed by who? Bacteria in the soil. So denitrification, that little prefix is saying go back to the beginning, and there it is in the atmosphere. So we have four processes that you've never heard of before. You have to memorize these. I would make flashcards, because why not, okay? And guess who does all of them? Bacteria, okay? 
And there's a couple of, there's one question. What organisms are critical, would be considered critical? I mean, we are part of the nitrogen cycle. We are not critical. Your answer better be bacteria, friend. So go ahead and raise that. Bacteria are critical. Down here, this is cut off. It says runoff into the water can lead to eutrophication. You already wrote this. So I have a little arrow here as a little side note that these fertilizers can lead to more eutrophication. And I also wrote again what those mean. So equals algal blooms, which is just big algae grown like crazy. High oxygen consumption, which means that the oxygen levels in the water go down. It leads to animal death and problems, big, big problems. Okay. So I have some tricks to help you remember these processes. If you remember that nitrogen is broken, then you might remember that it needs to be fixed. So that one's an easy one. And then nitrification has the starting prefix of nitra and the waste products also start with that prefix, nitrate and nitrite. That might help you. You start with and then it ends with those. Ammonification starts with ammon, and then its product is ammonia. That might help you. And then the D tacked on to the nitrification means it's going back to the beginning. Okay? Hopefully you guys can get that. You're going to have to work with it because I know it's new. And guess what else, friend? It's not in your book anywhere. Try to find it. Just try it. It's in biology books. So if you are simultaneously taking biology, you're set. But if not, you are definitely going to need to rely on these notes. This is it. Okay, what else did I have? Oh, that's it. So we are done. Done, done. Good job.